What is the difference between PRP and PRF? There's PRF, there's PRP, there's PRF gel. There is so many things and sometimes it's very overwhelming. And in my channel, I like to break things down to you very simply, no jargon, so that we can all be on the same page when it comes to all these crazy, innovative, whatever you want to call them, aesthetic procedures. Along with breaking things down for my clients, I love to make sure that they fully understand. Sometimes when they walk out the door, they'll forget completely what I said. And so I say, go home, do your research and come back and tell me which treatment resonates with you the most and we'll take it from there. My video will explain exactly what the difference between PRP and PRF and PRF gel to you without the jargon. It's going to be so simple and you're gonna remember this from now on. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you've heard of vampire facial, PRP, PRF, and you are confused. Let's start with a vampire facial. Usually with a vampire facial, if you've had one before, they became really popular at some point uh, because of Kim Kardashian having the blood on her face. And typically what that is, is microneedling or some form of modality and then PRP topically placed on your face. That is our traditional vampire facial. Now, not too long ago, we've been hearing about PRF. So what is the real difference? Which one should you choose? I think the difference between them could really help you choose what's right for you. I'm also going to touch on PRF gel. If you haven't watched my viral video, um, go ahead to my Instagram. I'll put the link in the bio and give that a quick watch. It's a take on Nara Smith's Make It From Scratch, but I'm actually making filler from scratch, uh, AKA PRF gel, which We'll get to in a sec. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Blood will spin in a centrifuge at a very, very high speed in order to separate the components of the blood and get the platelet-rich plasma. When it's spun at such a high speed, it actually loses some of its healing cells. Once injected or put topically, PRP will actually release those growth factors over the next 24 to 48 hours. So that is pretty fast. So when do I use PRP in the clinic? When we're doing microneedling, I like to apply it immediately after so it kind of sinks into the skin and gives you that immediate glow. PRF, platelet-rich fibrin. Now this is where things get a little bit juicier. PRF is spun a lot slower, okay? So it takes a lot more time to kind of simmer. <laughs> which means it keeps more of those white blood cells, the stem cells, as well as um, the actual fibrin. And so it creates kind of like a matrix almost, and that matrix is released over time. So as opposed to PRP, where it's released over 24 to 48 hours, PRF is released over time. Here's a graph showing PRP growth factors peaking a lot faster than those of the PRF. So one is one favored over the other. PRP, great for microneedling, adding it topically to add that immediate glow because those factors are released a lot faster. Now PRF, it's better when it's injected, maybe under eye hollowness because it releases those growth factors a lot slower. So again, for long-term results, collagen, texture, and volume, PRF. Now. Where does PRF gel come into the picture? PRF gel is simply PRF liquid that is being heated and chilled in a very specific way in order to make it as a gel texture. So it becomes the same texture as your basic dermal fillers that are made out of hyaluronic acid, but this time it's made out of your own body's PRF. At the clinic, I would use PRF gel for volume because it retains its shape for a long time. When I say a long time, give me a little room here, okay? Because it is a treatment. And I always tell my clients, treatments need consistency. It's going to last you a lot more than PRP is, and it's also going to last you less than dermal filler does. So keep that in mind when you are choosing that option. If you're looking for something that is immediate, that's gonna last long, you don't mind the complications or the risks, then filler 
If you'd like to avoid that and do something a lot more natural, then PRF gel is the way to go. You may need three treatments to reach that optimal result. I hope this helps you make a better decision about the treatment that is right for you and that it was easily explained. If it was, please let me know in the comments down below. It will definitely encourage me to post more of these videos because they are, they require a lot of work. So I need a lot of encouragement. <laughs> Once again, you are welcome very much.